Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to upload design on T Public in 2024. Of course, we'll show you how to upload the design on T Public. Whether it's a t-shirt, mug, or sticker, I'll guide you just through the process of maybe preparing your design, uploading it, and setting up for sale. So let's jump right into this idea. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into the video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you will need to go and open a browser for me here, I'm using Brave. For you, you can use whatever you want. Once you open it, go to the CRL section. Here, make sure to go and type tpublic.com. Hit the enter button. Of course, if it's your first time, you will be taken here to this page here you can go to the top right corner click on create your account if you have an account if you don't have an account click on accounting if you have an account of course click on login if you don't go and click on create to create an account i've already made a video on how to create an account if you can go and check it out you can as you can see in here you can use a google a facebook not google if you don't want to get through all boring steps of creating or even logging in at your account so for me as you can see i already have my account so i'll just go and ask that then click on view my store and as you can see, I am on my store right away. If it's your first time, of course, you will find at the bottom here, like upload your art or sell your art or something like that. So make sure to go and click on it if you still have never uploaded the design in here. So you can click on it. So you can upload your design. Other than that, basically, once you go in here, and even once you create your site, you will be asked to give your store a name and set up some basic stuff about your store before even uploading your design but if you already did this once for example and you maybe don't remember or the process is a little bit different uh, between the first time that you upload it and now as you can see once you go to your account in here just go and click on your account you'll find this left panel so simply you'll need to go and click on upload arts or upload design it's basically the same thing here you'll have to go and select your upload type so you can either upload a single file upload basically where where you'll have to upload it and it's one design at a time or you can do this multi-file upload which is bulk upload files to quickly add designs so if you have multiple designs ready or ready or you need to do just go and choose this option if you have one just go and choose this one so before like upload anything make sure your design is ready of course, the file format, make sure you file format for your design is PNG format with a transparent background. And for most products, a resolution of 5000 x 5000 pixels works best. Of course, a minimum resolution of 150 dpi is suggested to maintain print quality. And for colors, of course, you would like to use an RGB color profile for your design as well. So now just go and click on it and make sure to upload the design from your PC, wherever it is, as example. So for me, let's say it's this one. Let's see if it's even available. Let's just check. And yeah, let's just wait. So here, yeah, as you can see, this is bad, like uh, image for uploading. Maybe this one, let's just check. It's good or not. Because of course, as you said, uh, it should like, like the best or recommended dimensions is 5,000 over 5,000. So pixels, of course. So other other stuff, so might not be good for all the, the devices you can see or all the options. So as you can see, the image isn't large enough to support all of our wall art options. The largest size of your image is many. This example, your artwork must be at least, at least uh, 2,434 pixels wide or tall to enable uh, tip strides. So of course you can change it or you can just not care and start filling up the informations of your design. Starting by the title. Of course, make sure to have a good title. So title description, make sure to enter a catchy title and detailed description. For me, I'll just go do random stuff. So test and just testing. The same will be for tags. So testing. The same will be for text, so I'll just here enter test. And here I'll just choose testing as example. For this, does, they, does this contain some major or major content, uh, etc.? No. And here you'll have to choose some colors for everything that you add. Of course, you can add multiple stuff. 
So I'll choose for this, this, for this, this, and yeah, for this, I'll choose this. Why not? Of course, you can see and scale it however you want. You can put it wherever you want and etc. You can also like adjust it with these tools. So it's basically up to you. So I don't know. Is this good? Maybe. Anyway, uh, here you can choose even the product's color, like basically the background uh, of that. Maybe as example this. I don't know this. I don't know. And here you can also configure other products as well if you want to add them. And this one is disabled because, the, as we said before, the image is not big enough. So in here, all I need to do lastly is I have read and agree. Make sure to, to read them, of course, and agree to them before checking out, checking it. Then simply click on publish. If you want to save it for later, if you want to just make other changes, you're not, not sure about something, just go and click on save folders here. If you don't, if you're sure, just go and click on publish. Uh, because if we click on save for later as example, we can go back here to account, click on upload arts as example. So where can we find that design that we click on save for later? So you'll find that basically if you go to your account, click on view my store, and here scroll down and active as example, you'll find that's right there. So click on that, then you can click on edit and publish, make all the changes again that you want, then click on publish. Of course, we'll need to check this again and click on publish then it will be published without any problems. As you can see, you'll find the design with the t-shirt or whatever you choose to it. And yeah, I guess that will be good to go. Of course, you can even see other stuff and you'll be able to add them as well. So that's going to be it for me today. Uh, of course, one more thing, make sure to make some trending designs. It will help you to use like this Google like trend option. So make sure to make your trend design because it will definitely sell much better than just a random design. So keep that in mind. So yeah, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.